डेटा एनालिस्ट वर्सेस अ बिजनेस एनालिस्ट हे गाइस माय नेम इज सत्यजीत पटनायक एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन डेटा एनालिस्ट एंड अ बिजनेस एनालिस्ट हाउ यू कैन बिकम दिस और हाउ यू कैन बिकम दिस व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्किल्स रिक्वायर्ड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्किल्स रिक्वायर्ड व्हाट इज द करियर पाथ ऑफ बीइंग अ डेटा एनालिस्ट एंड व्हाट आर द फ्यूचर स्कोप एंड द सेम विद बिजनेस एनालिस्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो ऑन दिस आई विल बी स्विचिंग माय शर्ट सो इट इज वेरी क्लियर when i'm going to enact as a data analyst and when i'm going to enact as a business analyst so let's get started let's first talk about data analysts well data analysts are somebody who are very technical they want to do the analysis of data whenever they get use cases from their senior managers or from their senior data scientists or senior data analysts they are the ones who first delve into understanding the data how to analyze the data what are the data insights and finally they present those data as part of a dashboard or as part of python uh, graphs or python visualizations so that's what a data analyst do on a daily basis there are certain companies where data analysts mostly work into data cleaning data pipeline creation data transformation and there are certain companies where data analysts also are involved in dashboarding creating graphs creating reports even there are multiple companies where they hire data analysts to do the work of a data scientist so little bit knowledge on data science is also needed to become a data analyst so that's what a data analyst do now talking about the career path of becoming a data analyst when well, it's going to be very very crystal clear i have explained this in many of my videos so it's going to be a step by step approach we you have to learn python programming and then eda then statistics little bit of statistics not in depth sql excel power bi tableau and predictive analytics and etl these are the skills that a data analyst should have because company to company the skills will vary some company will need you to have knowledge on python some company will be fine if you don't know python you can do it on excel or any other tool some companies might also need you to know pyspark so you should have that ability to learn anything uh, given the time right so in case you want to learn pyspark you should always be knowing python right if you know python it is easier for you to learn pyspark so with the skills that i told try to go through them to become a data analyst now what is the future scope of data analyst well data analysts go on to become senior data analyst then lead data analyst then data analytics managers and then going into that direction in a similar organization from lead to manager to vp and go on there are also certain things certain other career paths where data analyst move into are the ai part the data science part or the data architect part i have so many friends who started their job as a data analyst then senior data analyst then lead data analyst and they jumped into the data architect roles data architect roles also gives a great salary market is giving paying a lot to data architect so that is also one one career path that you that you can explore obviously in the future not now but this is what a data analyst do now let's talk about the business analysts what do a business analyst do a business analysts are somebody who are more into the business side they basically act as a bridge between your customers and your technical team so and in some organizations they treat business analysts as somebody with business knowledge and the domain knowledge with data knowledge as well and in some companies they don't consider data knowledge so obviously if you have the data knowledge if you had the technical knowledge the python knowledge or bi knowledge that is definitely a plus but if you don't have you are still okay you can still become a business analyst so logically speaking business analyst domain knowledge they have the domain knowledge experience they have that communication experience they have that quality of working as a bridge between the consultants and the customers or the end clients so that's what the business analyst do now talking about what are the career scope in the field of business analytics if you want to become a business analyst what are the next options so normally your job profile starts as a junior business analyst and then it moves on to business analyst in certain companies you also move into the lead business analyst and from there you can become a manager and then become director if you stay in the same organization 
or else there are certain people who also dive uh, deviate from that journey and come towards the principal consultant job where you become a principal consultant or you become a relationship manager so multiple options are there when it comes to business analyst and in my own journey itself i have dealt with so many business analysts who start their job as a business analyst and they also come into the data science industry they become principal consultants they become data architect so there are multiple options available so if you are in business analytics or in data analytics you both have the option to come into the data science ai industry as well so it's up to you it's your call if you want to go into that area or you want to stick to the business side so both the options are available now lastly i'll talk about the skills what are the skills required to become a business analyst domain knowledge plays a very very vital role domain knowledge is a must now if you are working as a business analyst in a telecom company your switch to another telecom company will be literally very very easy when you jump from telecom to insurance or telecom to banking that is where challenges will start but there are things there are ways to cope up with that you can definitely learn that domain knowledge apply for interviews and then you can also join a new new domain so that's not a problem but domain knowledge plays a very very vital role communication plays another vital role uh, presentation skills are must because you are going to work as a bridge between your consultants between your technical team and your customers and your clients right so you need to have grasp on the business side and grasp on the technical side as well so talking about technical side if you want uh, the knowledge on technical side obviously if you learn the skills of data analysts you are always going to excel in your in your in your own world so python uh, knowledge on power bi tableau these kind of skills will definitely be helpful but excel is something i will tell that business analyst should have so if you are having knowledge on excel little bit knowledge on sql and different technical stacks that's definitely a plus if you learn python power bi and tableau that means you are learning the skills of data analyst that means you can become a very good business analyst with technical grasp with the communication knowledge you have with the presentation knowledge you have with the domain knowledge that you have you can excel as a business analyst as well can you become a business analyst and then become a ai developer or ai engineer or data scientist yes any domain any domain you come from being a data analyst a business analyst even software developers from non technical background also marketing guys digital marketing experts people have done transitions to data science and data engineering and many other fields so now nowadays the world the world is not like the way it was 10 20 years back right companies have known that there are non technical people who are also good enough so companies are giving options for people to you know play around with different skills so if you want to upskill if you can upskill definitely go ahead and upskill and there are ample number of opportunities to play around if career a doesn't work go for career b career c so you can play around upskilling is very important that's all about this particular video on data analytics and business analytics i try to explain in a layman's term try to explain as simple as possible in case you still have any questions you have your own profile you want to know whether you can become a data analyst or a business analyst or a ai engineer or a data scientist let me know in the comment section and i will revert back to you definitely in case i am not able to revert back to you please search me on linkedin i am also available on linkedin i reply to almost all the people that reach out to me in case i don't message you uh, in the comment section i'll definitely message you back on linkedin so keep trying but most likely i check all the comments that's all about this particular video in case you liked it please like share and subscribe the channel and see you in the next video